Hey there guys, what's going on today? This is Dal Su, back in action with some more Hearts of Iron. Had a little bit of a gap in our uh, series there. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't always have time to play all the games all the time. Got too many series going on right now, I think. So, Anyway, I really do enjoy this game, so I'm going to keep going with it. Even though I don't seem to be doing like that well, I kind of watch some other people's playthroughs. And uh, most people that I watch, like the professional kind of YouTubers, seem to be able to take over the whole world relatively quickly, so I don't know. I don't feel too bad about it. I, I like going slow, but at the same time, it may end up being kind of my downfall here. So we are striking into Honduras, which is great, and I think we're going to get started on the Brazil campaign. Can we go ahead and declare war on them? I think I lost my war justification. If you wait too long, you lose it. Which sucks, but I guess makes sense. So, is there anything else we want to do? We've got these guys here in South Florida. A couple guys going over here, perhaps, to maybe land on this island. Yeah. We have been working really hard on our navy. Honduras capitulated. Great news. Okay. Wait a sec. Why is it saying that it's El Salvador? Because El Salvador is an axis. Apparently I just gave Honduras... Oh, why? Why did I just give it to... Anyway, I guess I kind of like joined their war and they got the, the lion's share of stuff. So, alright. Fair enough. Let's make a justify war goal against... This is uh, Nicaragua, right? We'll do that. We'll keep working our way down to to uh, Panama, and then perhaps into South America, across the uh, is isthmus. I don't have a national focus because, well, there's not that many that I'm really interested in. I'd like to do this, but you have to be democratic, and you have to have democracy to do these. We could do Manhattan Project. That makes sense. Board observers. Improve my um, my uh, artillery a bit. Okay, we'll go ahead and get Manhattan Project, I guess. And what are we going to pick next? Advanced artillery? I never do anti-tank or anti-air because, well, so far I haven't really been up against any air. But I better, like, at least do the bare minimum. I don't want to be, like, super behind when something happens. All right, so we're justifying a war goal against Brazil. I guess we should probably start moving airplanes down here, except it doesn't really look like we have much of an air base down there at the current time. That's fine. Um, this guy can hold a 1,000 airplanes. We've got 400 here. We should probably move them. And, and Honduras is an ally, right? So if I wanted to... I could just sort of move them here, right? Won't let me click on them. That's weird. All right, anyway, we'll move them closer. Some close air support. We could also definitely use some fighters there. We've got tons of fighters built. Might as well just add a few. All right, that'll do for now. What resources are we currently lacking? We're still really low on rubber, so that's why this whole Brazil campaign needs to be successful so that we can get our hands on some of that sweet, sweet Amazonian rubber. Sounds really weird when you say it like that. But... And why this carrier has joined in with the subs. There we go. Let's select our navy and sort of... I don't know. What should we do with our navy? I'm really interested in loading up all the carriers, but as far as I know, we're not really there yet. Total need is filled. But it's not really filled, though. What are we constructificating? Mostly ports on, in British Guyana. Also repairing a lot of stuff that the... Um, this could possibly like shut us down if we don't do some military police. 
I think it might make sense to start training some military police. Like a like a nice garrison brigade with um two military police. You can only do one. Okay. Did we get that done officially? Let's do it. Save ten. And yeah, we'll like train five of them. We'll have them come out up here. Sounds good. What are you doing? You're just a little mechanized. All you guys are going over there slowly. Alright, we got some more boats here we're going to add to our fleet. We got some units just chilling in case the British decide to like stop by and say hello. I think that's fine. We got some troops in Florida. I'm just trying to organize myself a little bit here. Add supply. Where are you? Are you in Florida? Why is it not telling me? It's not like zooming me to... No, it's not zooming me to them. Why not? Huh, usually when you right click it zooms you to them. There must be a bug or something. Anyway, how far are we away? July 42, so yeah, we're about to about to get it, and we'll go ahead. It's gonna suck attacking through these jungles. It's gonna really suck, but hopefully our navy naval base will be upgraded by then, or else yeah, this is this is what why they're all getting bad supply. These troops are probably not totally capable right now of doing anything because that bad supply is gonna lower their organization. Yeah, it is. Which is why we try we're trying to build these things, but they're building a little slowly. I guess we should probably wait until at least August, huh? How is the German Reich doing? Pause it here. Seems to be doing okay. They've like kept the line here against Russia for years now. Pretty much in the exact same place. Japan seems to be doing okay. Good. So hopefully my allies kind of keep keep everybody busy until I've taken over the whole of my hemisphere. At which point I can kind of turn my attention towards the rest of the rest of the world. All right, we're ready to at least declare war on Brazil. I don't know if we'll like move in full steam ahead, but I don't want to lose this justification again. Yeah, they're guaranteeing. I could call my allies, but I won't. Yeah, Brazil's going to join allies, and we're going to still be at war with the UK, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Is this low supply going to make it really impossible? Let's just try it. Actually, let's do this. Let's. We need to make these guys their own army. How do we, how do we like, get them out of the current army? Yeah. On a sign, and then we'll give you a Omar Bradley. They're a supply general. No, out of supply minus fifty percent. All right, let's try it. Now we want to split these guys. I think we want you to go here, you to go here. Try that. Venezuela joined the Axis. I guess that means I can't take them over. Unfortunate. All them in. Alright, so how's this gonna go? I'm not real familiar with what happens when you're totally like out of supply. I know that your troops fight way way worse, but I don't know if it'll even be a big deal considering the advantage we probably have. You know, they got three here. Everybody's joining the Axis, which means I can't take them over. That sucks. How do we see, um... 
sections map mode. Axis, axis, everybody else is quadratic. Okay. As long as we can get everybody on the axis side, I mean, eventually we're going to want to take them over anyway. The problem is... I mean, you might not be able to do that, actually. Because, say this guy's uh, in that, you know, ally, uh, axis. It doesn't actually give me the option to, you know, attack them. I may be able to, like, make them go. No, I can't make them go. The stage a coup. Or communist and then attack them. Uh, there's probably ways to do it. Uh, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. <laughs> but, um... Right now, we're going all Brazil. We need that rubber, baby. We have no air support because we don't have any. I guess since Venezuela is now a member of the Axis, we could technically try it. Got to be a better way to do this. Okay, I like the idea of adding a chief of the air force. Uh, night operations penalty minus twenty would be nice. We got better military police, which is good since we're building some. Probably time for some slightly better tanks. How about a Sherman? Sounds good. How we doing? Ninety-nine percent. My military police training. Not bad. I'm still waiting for some huge invasion to come, but it doesn't seem to be happening for whatever reason. Kind of got a little bit of a clusterfuck going on, but I'll try to like curb my mild case of. OCD for a little while. Alright, we've got subs there. Subs too, so I should be able to blow up any convoys, I would think. See what happens there. Go on building our navy over here. Yes, I know, that's the out of supply sound, right? While we're here, I think we should probably start adding carrier naval bombers. Mostly what I want, right? Yeah. So, control click for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. Oh, no, 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 no. Mess that up. Try that again, okay? Control click for 10. I want naval bomber 2, obviously. Three, four. Now I just want to move one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's full. I gotta do that on all of them, but we don't have the ability to do that yet. So of course we're gonna be out of supply here, big time. I wonder how horribly it's gonna affect us. These are the Brazilians running away, okay. Who's that? Venezuela helping me out? Okay. These guys are not even actually out of supply. That's nice. I mean, we're at 95 fighting strength, so I think we're probably okay. Should be a pretty easy war, aside from attrition. And then we'll have rubber, which will be sweet. We're gonna have to deal with this resistance, I guess. Otherwise they're gonna keep, I didn't realize that they actually damage your factories and shit. Because that's gonna keep our construction menu like totally full. It's gonna be super annoying. Yeah, I mean, like our whole menu 
is just going to be filled with repairs. So that's annoying. And I didn't realize that that actually happens. But that, hey, I'm still learning the game. So those military police should fix a lot of that. Um, production, recruit and deploy. It's supposed to only take 100 days. It seems to take a little longer, but... I think I might have some kind of negative modifier. Like a 20% negative modifier to training or something like that. How are we doing? You've stopped. Okay. Well, we're headed down here to the coast, right? We probably should have done a drop over there as well. In fact, we could still do that. We could take this 16, and we could plan a naval invasion from here to, like, down here at the capital, right? 56 days. Yeah, I only want like 10 of you though. Here's what I'll do. Okay. I'm going to cancel that. All right, now I want you guys to move here. First of all, separate yourselves from the pack. It's getting too confusing otherwise. You're going to take anybody really. You take Patton. It's pretty good. Pretty good general. Move there, and then we're going to stage a naval invasion. We might have to shift our navy, though. In fact, yeah, let's bring our navy down here. Or sort of form it up. Yeah, you guys come down here. We already have some subs there, but we'll need subs here. Or, I mean, ships here in order to complete the invasion. All right, you guys are your own group now. You're all ready. And what we're going to do is a naval invasion. So we'll start here in Miami. And come all the way down to right outside on the outskirts of Rio de Janeiro. Okay. How long is that going to take, Mr. Patton? 56 days, no problem. That'll help. Because it's going to take forever to do it from the top down. Only 5% attrition, that's not bad. Alright, strike into here. You're taking your sweet ass time getting over there. Did it! Alright, head down here to this airfield. Manhattan Project is donezo. I don't know if I'm going to do any other national focus right now. Rubber's really holding us back. All these troops here. Do we ever get our um, war goal? We did. Okay. So we're going to just smash Nicaragua right quick. No problem there. Actually, don't do it like that. Go like through the capital. And then come around. Uh, you won't do that, huh? Just go and get the capital. Alright, that was easy. So they'll limp into the capital. Yeah, I should have trained military police earlier. That was a mistake. Somebody commented and told me to train military police. And I was like, eh, they don't really seem that important. But I was wrong. We're almost ready for this, like, uh, kind of invasion of this island. Doesn't everybody form up here? And I'll make you your own, your own unit for a while. Better infantry equipment. Weapons 3. And we're going to get support weapons, and then we're going to make the change to better weapons. Nice. Nice, nice.
All right, you're going to go there, you're going to go there. Got some Venezuelan peeps backing us up. We also overrun the Netherlands here. And France, they're all allies. We'll, we'll get rid of them sooner or later. It's not top priority. Although it might should be, because it's possible they'll like bring some units. Hey, it looks like they're pushing. Nice. Japan may be folding a little bit. See a lot of red. Russia's the only real threat to us, man. I mean, the UK, unless he's like reserving for some huge attack, I don't see him really being a problem for us. Watching one of Shinier's games and UK was a huge problem. Look at all the German divisions, man. Shit. They're all spread out, but still. Like, Germany's going to capture Africa. I mean, eventually, if we want to take over the whole world, we'll have to attack Germany. But I probably won't do that. I'll probably just wait till the end of World War II and then sort of decide what to do from there. Anyways, guys, we're over our time limit. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. We're going to do this naval invasion and hopefully capture Brazil. Sweet. Bye.